Welcome to a very special edition of Interface's product review. I'm Scotty D and today we're not going to be reviewing just one product, we're going to be reviewing three products in the same category. Today, it's a webcam shootout. Do you feel lucky? Well, do you punk? I don't know which webcam is the weakest, but whichever one is, I want you to take him out back for a little ride and show him how he's going to sleep with the fishes. The world can seem really large at times. With your family and friends spread across the globe, staying in contact with them has never been more important. In a traditional state, you'd have to pick out a stamp, put it on a postcard and write a little note, maybe write a letter and put it in the post office and mail it to them, and you'd have to wait for them to get it and read it or you can pick up the phone and place a call. While all of those are really nice, you can still find yourself feeling a little impersonal because you can't see them and they can't see you. Webcams have always been really popular, but they've increased their popularity over the past couple of years because of enhanced technologies and increased internet bandwidth. Today, we're gonna to be reviewing three webcams. We have the Logitech HD Pro Webcam C910. Over here, we've got the Face Vision TouchCam N1, and up here in the front, we've got the Rocketfish HD webcam. Now let's take a look at each one of the product's specifications individually, and I'll show you each one of them in action. Let's start with the Rocketfish HD webcam. It comes from the company Rocketfish. When we seen this product, we wanted to take a look at it because of its cost. This is a very low cost HD webcam at just above $54 US and is very, very compact. This thing is 1.9 inches high, 1.4 inches wide, and 2.9 inches deep so it is very very portable and it only weighs 3.2 ounces and has a maximum video resolution of 1280 by 720 and if you're looking for that multi-purpose camera this might be the one to look at because it also does still image resolutions of up to 8 megapixels so you can also take some still images with this as well as use it as a webcam it does do 30 frames per second and does have a wide angle lens on it the Logitech HD Pro Webcam C910 comes from a company whose reputation precedes itself now the product itself doesn't come with documentation to specify how high, wide, or deep it is. So I measured it myself and this camera measures at around 2.5 inches high, 3.75 inches wide, and 2.5 inches deep. Much like the Rocketfish, the Logitech does have support for Windows XP, SP2, or higher. Windows Vista or Windows 7, 32-bit and 64-bit, very nice. but. The Logitech does not have driver support for Mac. It does have full HD video capturing at 1080p. That's 1920 by 1080 pixels. HD video calling is available, but HD video calling is only at 720p. The optics on this camera are great. They are Carl Zeiss optics with auto focusing, very nice, and photos with up to 10 megapixel resolution. The audio on this camera is lifelike with stereo audio with the right sound technology and in low light conditions you have the right light 2 technology. Now the Face Vision TouchCam N1 webcam is a little bit more unique than the previous two cameras. It measured in at 100 millimeters wide, 45 millimeters deep, and 60 millimeters high weighing in at only 90 grams. One of the unique features of the Face Vision TouchCam N1 is that it is Skype certified. It is one of the only webcams out there that allow you to do HD quality video calling using Skype. Now with the Skype HD calls, you are gonna be limited to 720p at 22 frames per second. A very unique feature of the Face Vision N1 camera is that it has an adaptive built-in H.264 encoder. And what that means is all of the processing of the video is done at the camera, not at your computer's CPU. And what it also means is that this is a true 
plug and play device. You just plug it in. Wherever you need an HD webcam, you plug it in and you're ready to go. The TouchCam N1 from Face Vision also has an auto-focusing wide-angle lens with a 78-degree view capability. And what that means to you is that nobody gets left out. You're also going to be enjoying dual unidirectional microphones, one on each side of the lens, supporting what they call beam-forming techniques, delivering superb audio. We're going to find out that shortly. All right, we're taking a look right now at the Rocketfish HD webcam that we talked about at the beginning of the video. We're shooting this video in 720p. So as you can see, a nice wide angle lens capturing a lot of background visibility. Really, really nice, and I like that about this camera. I'm using the software that came with the camera to record this so you can see what it's capable of doing. Obviously, you can hook this camera up to your own video capture software or your video conferencing software of choice. You might yield a different experience that's why I wanted to show you what you could do with this software that came with the camera which is called Live Central a lot of camera control in the software itself to control brightness auto focusing gamma controls as well as an audio source this camera allows you to use an external audio source that is not part of the camera I am however using the built-in microphone on this camera to record this video so you can hear the quality of the microphone that comes with the camera itself but if you do have an external mic that you'd like to use, you can select it within the software and get that yield of experience that you are looking for. The autofocus of the camera is quite nice. Now, the package that the Rocketfish came in is very glossy. A lot of reflections on this. And on the back of the package, a lot of small words. As we sit here real about a foot and a half away from the camera, the words are quite small. But as I move the box in pretty fast, you'll see that the words autofocus and also do the pictures on the box itself. So as I'm moving around, pretty good autofocus on this. Not so much glare or ghosting on this. So all in all, a real nice camera, especially when you consider we're sitting in ambient light right now in the office. No extra lights are on, just an ambient light from the window behind the camera. All right, now we're looking at the Logitech HD Pro Webcam C910. And we're starting this video in 720p because the Rocketfish HD webcam that we just looked at only had a maximum resolution of 720p. But with the Logitech HD Pro Webcam C910, we can crank it up to 1080p. Let's take a look. All right, we are now at 1080p, and to be able to record with a webcam at 1080p is very cool no matter what you look at. Now, I will warn you that recording video at 1080p does consume a lot of CPU cycles when it's encoding and compressing down that video into a saved file. So Logitech put a little humor into their message that when you're starting to save a 1080p file, it says, this may take a while. It's a good time to stretch your legs and take a break for a while. <laughs> kind of funny. Nonetheless, a really cool feature to be able to record video at 1080p. So, I am using the software that came with the Logitech HD Pro Webcam C910 so that you can see in its native mode what this camera is capable of doing. Now, I'm using the right light technology, the right sound technology, as they call it, and also an auto-focusing, just like we used on the Rocketfish HD Webcam. So as I'm moving around, you can see the blur factor. Now, we have no extra lights on in the office here as we record this, only the ambient light from the window behind the camera itself. Now, the difference on this camera that I noticed is the wide-angle lens over the Rocketfish. The Rocketfish had a really nice wide-angle lens, but the Logitech HD Pro Webcam C910 seems to cover a lot more width behind me. So pretty nice if you're looking for a better widescreen experience. Now the auto focusing is also a little bit better than before. So as I'm looking at the box and the packing for the C910, a lot of words on the front and the sides and the back. Now on the back these fonts are I would say probably around an 8 or 9 maybe a 10 pitch font if you were to print it out on paper from your printer in your computer. So as I move where I'm at right now. We're about a foot and a half away from the camera itself. And the words are slightly, well, partially not even legible. So as I move closer to the camera, you'll see if I hold just for a second, the autofocus kicks in, and then the words are now legible. Pretty nice. So you can take things and bring it really close to the camera and get a really nice, clear HD image as you record. And as we back away, 
As we hold just for a second, you'll see everything comes clear once again. So this is the HD Pro Webcam C910 from Logitech. One of the other features I liked about this C910 from Logitech is its ability to use an external microphone. Just like the Rocketfish did, you can also do that with the C910. I am recording this video using the stereo mics or dual mics built into the Logitech HD Webcam C910. So no external mics are being used. What you are hearing is exactly what you would hear if you record from the C910 yourself. Last but certainly not least is the Face Vision TouchCam N1 plug and play webcam. Plug and play meaning that there are no extra driver CDs necessary for this camera. You just plug it in and the built-in H.264 encoder goes to work for you. They also sadly did not include any video capture or editing software with this. So if you are going to be using this for that capacity, you will have to select a software package of your choice that's third party and use the camera with it. Now I've tried two different packages right now for this camera yielding the same result on both packages using the dual microphones the unidirectional microphones built into the camera to record this video you see that the audio and the video don't sync up a hundred percent don't know why that is I'm actually looking into that further with face vision in ambient light just like the other camera shots that we did earlier the only light that you're seeing is the ambient light coming from the window behind the camera so very nice in a low to mid light condition the wide angle lens at 78 degrees is very nice not as nice as the Logitech C910 but nice indeed I have used this in the Skype certified capacity and in the Skype mode the video and the audio are just fine no worries on Skype for some reason when you're using it in an offline capture mode they get off sync so if you are going to use this just for Skype keep in mind no problems whatsoever it does a very nice indeed it claims 720p so that's what we are recording in whatever its native mode is using the H.264 encoder and because of that onboard encoder the autofocus feature is very very nice so you can see some small words here on the back of the box that if I move in very very fast the onboard encoder can take over quite fast because it's adaptive and it can auto focus very 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 nice so there you have it the face vision touch cam n1 plug and play webcam so there you have it, and there you've seen it, the webcam shootout between the Rocketfish HD webcam, the Face Vision TouchCam N1, and the Logitech HD Pro webcam C910. In my opinion, the Rocketfish not able to stand up to the other two competitors, but a very nice entry-level webcam indeed for under $60 US. The top two competitors not able to claim a victory on either one of them. I'm claiming a tie because I like feature sets of both of these webcams. In the Logitech, I love the Carl Zeiss optics for picture quality and clarity, the wide angle lens being able to capture more, and the Right Light 2 technology being able to adapt to lower light conditions more effectively. What I did not like about this camera was the right sound technology. You can turn that off in the software, but I left it on during our demonstration. I also did not like that you have to load up a driver into your computer as the computer has to do the video encoding, not the camera. Because of that, I love the Face Vision TouchCam N1 because it has a built-in H.264 encoder to allow the video encoding to happen at the camera, not the computer. I also like the 78 degree wide angle lens on it, very nice on this. The picture quality also nice and the video and audio off sync was nominal at best in a video capture mode. I also like this camera because it is the only one out of all three that is Skype certified. And during a Skype call, no problem with the audio and the video being off synced. So because of that, you have a tie between these two webcams. The Logitech HD Pro webcam C910 and the Face Vision TouchCam N1. If you'd like to comment on this video or make suggestions for future videos, drop us an email. The email address is live at scottydonline.com. And don't forget to tune into Interface each and every Friday afternoon at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern at live.scottydonline.com for techertainment at its finest. I'll see you next time, web world. I'm Scotty D.